The government has a secret plan to increase taxes on 90% of taxpayers. We're going to unpack that today in Ask an Economist. Hi, I'm Matt and I'm the Senior Economist at the Australia Institute. And I'm Eliza, I'm a Research Economist at the Australia Institute. And we have a question today for Ask an Economist about the Lamito, also known as the Lamington, also known as the Low and Middle Income Tax Offset. And the question is, there is talk about changes to the Lamito. So what is the Lamito and what are they changing? The Lamito, or the Low and Middle Income Tax Offset, effectively reduces the amount of tax people pay, are paying on their taxable income. The difference between an offset and a, a different kind of normal uh, tax cut is that you won't see it in your weekly pay. You'll only get the Lamito once you've submitted your tax return at the end of the financial year. If you're paying tax and you earn under $126,000 a year, you're benefiting from the Lamito right now. Why is this a tax offset and why didn't the government not just give this tax cut as by changing the, the tax rates or, or um, brackets? Well, the good thing about a tox, tax offset is, is you can actually target it to particular groups on particular incomes. So if you were to change a threshold or a rate in our, in our tax system, then everybody earning more than that gets that tax cut, which means if you wanted to target your tax relief to low and middle income earners, the way this um, tax offset is, then everybody on high incomes will get the full amount of it. And essentially you're paying more for the tax cut in order to give it to a whole load of high income people that you don't necessarily want to have. So a tax offset means that you can just target at particular groups. So everybody earning more than $126,000 a year gets none of this tax cut. Whereas if they change the thresholds or the rates, everybody earning more than $126,000 will get the full amount of this tax cut. All right, Eliza, you know I love graphs, so we've got our first graph for today. And what we're gonna look at is who benefits from the Lamito. And what we have here is um, the income distribution by deciles. So on the bottom here, we have um, 10 deciles. So we've broken all of the taxpayers up into 10 equal groups. We have the lowest 10% of income earners in the first decile, then the next 10% in the, the second decile, all the way up to that 10th decile is the 10% who earn the most. And we're basically looking at how much of the tax cut each of those deciles give. And what we can see is, is the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth decile, they're the ones getting all of the benefit. And that's because they're the middle income earners. They're the ones that the Lamito is aimed at. And you'll also notice that the 10th decile gets nothing. All right, um, and that's because nobody over $126,000 a year gets any of the Lamito, that is it cuts out. And so it's really quite targeted to middle income earners. Now the biggest beneficiaries of the Lamito are actually people earning between 48 and $90,000 a year, which actually represents almost half of all taxpayers. And they get $1,080 a year each. Um, and um, about 90% of taxpayers get some Lamito. That is, um, they earn less than $126,000 a year. So Eliza, they're gonna make changes to the Lamito. What changes are they gonna make? So the government is gonna scrap the Lamito. And this means that the, lo the lower and middle income earners that are benefiting from the Lamito will have to pay more tax, particularly the 50% of taxpayers in the middle income tax bracket. They will lose the most money if the Lamito is scrapped. The good thing is the government can decide to renew the Lamito in the next budget and save people from this income loss. So wait, wait, Eliza. The coalition are always telling us that they're the uh, the party of lower taxes. Um, and yet, if they don't renew the Lamito, then they're effectively going to increase taxes on 90% on of taxpayers, including a, a huge bunch um, of middle income earners. Uh, that's true, Matt. But don't worry, they've got their grounds covered because they have already legislated the stage three tax cuts. Tell us about that, Matt. So the stage three tax cuts are going to come in in a few years from now, in 2024. Um, and basically the way they work is, is they're going to give an enormous tax cut, but not spread evenly like the Lamito. They're actually concentrated on just high income earners. So if we look at my second graph, we can see the income distribution for the stage three tax cuts. Okay, And again, we've got our deciles down the bottom from one to ten one being the 10% lowest income earners, 10 being the 10% of highest income earners. So Matt, how many, how much of the tax cut do the, the bottom 20% get? In this particular tax cut, the stage three, nothing. They get zero. Whereas more than half of it 
goes to the top 10%. And this, is, um, this tax cut, even though it's far more concentrated into a smaller group, is actually worth more than twice as much as the Lamito. And the reason is, is because rather than um, the, the maximum amount being about just over $1,000, which a heap of middle income earners earn, these people at the very top, people earning more than $200,000 a year, are going to get a $9,000 a year tax cut from the stage three tax cuts. So let me get this right. The government is deciding to take away a tax cut that benefits low and middle income earners and implement a tax cut that benefits high income earners. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, and most taxpayers will actually be worse off. So most taxpayers after this swap happens, getting rid of the Lamito, bringing in stage three, 80% of tax um, payers will be worse off by this. So the Lamito costs around about $7.4 billion a year, whereas the stage three tax cuts cost $15 billion a year. Effectively, we're giving up more budget funding so that rich people can pay less tax. So at a time when um, aged care, childcare, disability care are all crying out for more funds, the government has decided to uh, give an enormous tax cut to high income earners. So let's look at who benefits the most from the Lamito by electric. So here we have um, the top 10 electorates that get the most currently from the Lamito. They're the ones that earn between forty-eight dollars and $90,000. They're the ones getting that maximum $10,080 um, from the Lamito. And also, these are the people who are going to lose the most when the Lamito goes. And we can see that they're mainly Labor Party electorates. In fact, of the top 10 electorates that are going to lose the most when the Lamito disappears, um, eight of them are ALP electorates and only two of them are Liberal electorates. This second table shows us the biggest beneficiaries of the stage three tax cuts, so the highest income earners uh, by electorate. It's looking, looking pretty blue, isn't it, Matt? Yeah, look, there's a lot of Liberal electorates there um, and, and not many ALP electorates. So, so basically, from these two tables, we've seen that the Lamito mainly benefits Labor electorates and the Stage 3 tax cuts mainly benefits Liberal electorates, which might explain why the government has decided to scrap the Lamito and introduce the Stage 3 tax cuts. But I have one more table for us. And our final table is these are the electorates that will get no benefit at all or the proportion of people in these electorates that will get no benefit at all from the stage three tax cuts. So these are the people earning less than $37,000 a year. They'll get nothing at all from the stage three tax cuts. And they're actually a different group again. This is mostly national party electorates. In fact, there are six national party electorates in the top 10 electorates that get the, have the largest proportion of people getting nothing from stage three. And that's actually a huge proportion of national party electorates. There are only 16 national party electorates in Parliament, and six of them are in the top 10, with the remainder being Labor. So it, it does beg the question, uh, in the coalition, the National Party supports the stage three tax cuts, but most of the people in their electorate, or a big proportion of the people in their electorates, are gonna get no benefit from this stage three. Makes you wonder why they're supporting it. So to sum up, Basically, the government is planning to get rid of the Lamito, which mostly benefits labor electorates, but also mostly benefits low and middle income earners. And they're going to eventually replace that with the stage three tax cuts that mostly benefits liberal electorates and high income earners. Scrapping the Lamito is not a foregone conclusion. The government could still renew it in the next budget. So if you agree, like us, that they should permanently implement the Lamito and you want other people to know, share this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a share. And if you have a question, put it in the comments below. If you want to know more about the stage three tax cuts and the Lamito and who wins and loses, we've written a paper about that um, and a link to that is in the description below.